Let's pray before we begin. Lord, please let us understand your word and put it in our hearts. May it shape our lives to be more like your Son. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Chapter 10 Dead flies cause the ointment of the apothecary to send forth a stinking savor. So doth a little folly him that is in reputation for wisdom and honor. A wise man's heart is at his right hand, but a fool's heart at his left. Yea, also, when he that is a fool walketh by the way, his wisdom faileth him, and he saith to every one that he is a fool. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place, for yielding pacifieth great offenses. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun as an error which proceedeth from the ruler. Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low place. I have seen servants upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. He that diggeth a pit shall fall into it, and whoso breaketh an hedge, a serpent shall bite him. Whoso removeth stones shall be hurt therewith, and he that cleaveth wood shall be endangered thereby. If the iron be blunt, and he do not whet the edge, then must he put to more strength. But wisdom is profitable to direct. Surely the serpent will bite without enchantment, and a babbler is no better. The words of a wise man's mouth are gracious, but the lips of a fool will swallow up himself. The beginning of the words of his mouth is foolishness, and the end of his talk is mischievous madness. A fool also is full of words. A man cannot tell what shall be, and what shall be after him, who can tell him. The labor of the foolish wearieth every one of them, because he knoweth not how to go to the city. Woe to thee, O land, when thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. Blessed art thou, O land, when thy king is the son of nobles, and thy princes eat in due season for strength and not for drunkenness. By much slothfulness the building decayeth, and through idleness of the hands the house droppeth through. A feast is made for laughter, and wine maketh merry, but money answereth all things. Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber. For a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. Matthew Henry Commentary on Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verses 1 to 3. Those especially who make a profession of religion should keep from all appearances of evil. A wise man has great advantage over a fool who is always at a loss when he has anything to do. Sin is the reproach of sinners wherever they go and shows their folly. Verses 4 to 10. Solomon appears to caution men not to seek redress in a hasty manner, nor to yield to pride and revenge. Do not, in a passion, quit thy post of duty. Wait a while, and thou wilt find that yielding pacifies great offences. Men are not preferred according to their merit, and those are often most forward to offer help, who are least aware of the difficulties or the consequences. The same remark is applied to the church, or the body of Christ, that all the members should have the same care, one for another. Verses 11 to 15. There is a practice in the East of charming serpents by music. The babbler's tongue is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison, and contradiction only makes it the more violent. We must find the way to keep him gentle, but by rash, unprincipled or slanderous talk, he brings open or secret vengeance upon himself. Would we duly consider our own ignorance as to future events, it would cut off many idle words which we foolishly multiply. Fools toil a great deal to no purpose. They do not understand the plainest things, such as the entrance into a great city, but it is the excellency of the way to the heavenly city, that it is a highway, in which the simplest way faring men shall not err. Isaiah 25 verse 8. But sinful folly makes men miss that only way to happiness. Verses 16 to 20. 
The happiness of a land depends on the character of its rulers. The people cannot be happy when their princes are childish and lovers of pleasure. Slothfulness is of ill consequence both to private and public affairs. Money of itself will neither feed nor clothe, though it answers the occasions of this present life, as what is to be had may generally be had for money. But the soul, as it is not redeemed, so it is not maintained with corruptible things as silver and gold. God sees what men do and hears what they say in secret, and when he pleases, brings it to light by strange and unsuspected ways. If there be hazard in secret thoughts and whispers against earthly rulers, what must be the peril from every deed, word, or thought of rebellion against the King of Kings and Lord of Lords? He sees in secret, his ear is ever open. Sinner, curse not this King in thy inmost thought. Your curses cannot affect him, but his curse coming down upon you will sink you to the lowest hell. Please consider, how does this chapter apply to you? Thank you for listening. If you want to know more about Jesus and what the gospel means to you, then hit the video shown on the left of the screen and please don't forget to subscribe. May the Lord Jesus Christ bless your day. Hello, we are Mark and Pearl Lambert, and we are the ministers of Jesus Answers Prayers. If you like this ministry, please help support it. The link to donate is found in the description below. Thank you and God bless.